What's up guys? I am back. I'm sorry for the long delay. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a video. Um, today is a very special day because I have a new product to review. Um, the guys over at Unicolor sent me this Unicolor LED light to review. It's a tube form factor LED light. It comes in two flavors. You've got the one meter and half meter light. This one in particular is the half meter. It's got 48 RGB LEDs. Uh, changes color like that and everything is controlled through this little remote kind of handy um, so what we're going to do today is run through some of the accessories you get with it um, talk about the build quality and see if it lives up to the hype and see if it really is waterproof like they say open up the box and you're greeted by this nice gorilla pod style tripod a charger for the device and a carrying case, which is sort of reminiscent of Chewbacca's belt from Star Wars. Also, you'll find inside a hot shoe adapter, a carabiner for clipping the light onto your travel bag or a roller case, and of course, the remote for the device. You've also got an adapter and a chunky clamp for clamping the light down. And my favorite, a spike attachment. To charge the device, simply remove the tail cap and plug the cable into the exposed micro USB port. Controlling the device is fairly straightforward with dedicated buttons for R, G, B, and W. To scroll through the many hundreds of animations, you can hit the green buttons on either side of the remote and you'll see many, many, many different color patterns and combinations. I will note that the white balance on the white setting is not selectable. Um, which is a problem for videography as you need a custom white balance. The devs tell me that there is an app forthcoming which will allow you to select that white balance and pick your own patterns individually, which will be a big help. As it stands, it's a bit tedious to select things. Now that we've had a look at how the device works and some of the accessories, I want to see how this thing works in the real world. Uh, we're going to take it down to the beach and test whether or not it actually is waterproof by dipping it into the Gulf of Mexico. That should be fun. Also, we're going to do a little light painting as the uh, evening progresses and see how useful it is as a light painting tool. Check it out. 